we are in Manhattan Beach. We are actually on the beach in an area that we call the Strand. It is a section of the California Coastal Trail. Everything is going on on this strand, absolutely everything. The uh, rollerblades and skateboards and dog walkers and pedestrians doing one thing and another. So you always got to, you know, keep your eye out for cross traffic. Manhattan Beach is known for its beauty, as they all are. There's some uh, charming shops up and down the main street. Manhattan Beach is trying very hard to, uh, to keep its identity of being a, a small beach town. It was founded um, with the premise that this was going to be a family-oriented community, and it very much is. So you will see stroller moms, as, as they're called, um, at any time of the day. It's one of the big draws of the area that we have such an incredible length of either strand or in some passageway that people can get out, they can ride for a long, long distance. They can walk for a long distance. They can hike for a long distance. They can do so many things here safely up and down the beach where it's absolutely beautiful and you've got it all right here to do it. If you want to feel energized, this is a good place to come. It truly is. There's always something going on here. And what's interesting is that all of these beach communities up and down, not just this immediate area, but up and down the whole coast are all so different. Each one has its own personality. So if you, you go to one, it's going to be different from the next one to the next one, even though they're just miles apart. I grew up um, hiking. Our family did a lot of camping in the Sierras. I think when I was about four, I had hiked four miles to a fishing lake. The rest is history. <laughs> I've become familiar with the uh, California Coastal Trail over the last four years when I first hiked Catalina just as a hiker and became aware of what the Coastal Conservancy was trying to do. The portion that I'm most familiar with runs from almost Santa Monica down to Redondo Beach and that's the section that I hike with my hiking group um, every other Friday we're out here on what we call walks, not hikes, because we're usually getting in shape for something bigger, as well as just staying in shape for anything that comes along. It's a phenomenal thing to think about having a trail that would run all the way from Mexico through the entire length of California, on the shore, on the beaches, and uh, on the bluffs, and very little elevation gain but also just the intrigue of the cities that it would go through and the, the various populated areas. I think the Appalachian Trail does that as well. Because it's in the process of coming together, it will no longer just be a day walk. It will not just be four miles. There will actually be a goal that you can set where you can, you can walk the distance, you can go from town to town and actually see more than what you would normally on a, on a just a daily morning walk. So the importance of, of having the long distance is, is an entirely different experience. And there's a, there's a sense of freedom in being able to put a pack on your back and just on your own two legs, go for as far as you want to go. And it's starting to become a reality.